In the six most shocking cases of anorexia, at number one, we look at the twin doctors who made a pact of starving and never gaining weight. They are twin doctors whose parents are distinguished writers. Yet for 20 years, these identical twins have competed with each other in the most disturbing way imaginable. Twins Maria and Katie Campbell, even now with childish bodies and voices, admit they struggle to make sense of what has happened to their lives. Jeremy Gillitzer was once a male model with stunning looks and a six-pack. But what most people don't know is that behind that great look, he battled anorexia and bulimia for most of his adult life. Through a regime of chronic starvation, self-induced vomiting and relentless exercise, he whittled his body down to practically nothing. When he died in 2010 at the age of 38, he weighed just 66 pounds. Standing side by side in matching outfits, you'd be forgiven for mistaking Rebecca and Macy Jones as sisters. But in fact, this is a picture of a 26-year-old woman and a 7-year-old daughter. After suffering from anorexia half her life, Rebecca's tiny frame fits easily into clothes designed for 7 to 8 year olds. Weighing just 5 stone, the young mother weighs less than her daughter, despite standing 8 inches taller. Rebecca says, wearing the same clothes as Macy gives me a sense of pride. It's wrong, but it makes me feel good. I don't think I'm thin. I always see myself as bigger. A medical secretary by profession, she survives on soup, toast and energy drinks. Even though doctors have warned her, lack of nutrients could kill her. At the same time, she encourages Macy to enjoy chocolate and cupcakes. An anorexic woman who dropped to three and a half stone after walking up to 12 hours a day has battled back to health. Lauren Bailey's healthy look masks her 10-year struggle to overcome the condition which nearly killed her after her weight dropped to that of an average 5-year-old. The 26-year-old, who would obsessively pace the streets from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., spent 18 months in hospital in a last-ditch bid to overcome her anorexia. Many of you will remember Isabel Caro, the brave model who bared all to show the true horror of anorexia. Isabel lost her eating disorder battle on November 2010 at age 28 after being treated for an acute respiratory illness. Isabel appeared in posters for an anti-anorexia campaign in 2007, but the ads were banned in several countries. It was not clear why it took so long for her death to be made public. The anti-anorexia campaign came amid a debate among fashion circles on the use of ultra-skinny models on the catwalk. Carol herself suffered from severe anorexia nervosa since the age of 13. The model told CBS News in 2007, I agreed to pose for the campaign because I said if I can put my years of suffering to good use, then it will not have been pointless. I know it's a shocking photo and I want it to shock. It's really a warning that it is a serious illness. The fashion world reeled over the death of Eliana Ramos, an Uruguayan model who died just six months after her model sister Luisa Ramos died at the age of 22 after stepping off a runway during a fashion show in Montevideo. The sisters were supposed to appear alongside each other on the catwalk the night Luisel died, but she collapsed before the show's finale. Six months later, Miss Eliana was found dead in her home at the age of 18 in Montevideo, the capital of Uruguay. While no medical report was immediately released after Eliana's death, Judge Roberto Timbal says that she died of a heart attack. 